This is Twit. One of the things that we just saw at, uh, I think it was at WWDC, Apple's Worldwide Developer Conference, was a conversation around gaming on the Mac. And Apple is sometimes accused of, I don't even know if it's an accusation, maybe observed as being the company that is the mobile game platform. But I think that there then is uh, the criticism that Apple is not the uh, the sort of PC gaming company. And I felt like what they had talked about at that Mac event, well, in part uh, that Mac event, was that it is working on making, you know, Mac OS itself, as well as the hardware behind Mac OS, uh, powerful and capable enough to run some of these AAA games that we see out there. But while all of that is going on, we do have to, again, recognize Apple as a platform or as a uh, mobile gaming company. And one of the places that that exists is Apple Arcade. And, you know, I'll, I'll check in from time to time on Apple Arcade. Uh, but now there's a list of games that will be leaving Apple Arcade soon. We sometimes see this on Netflix and uh, and Hulu, where there are some some deals that have gone through, and so those apps will or those uh, shows will leave. And now the same thing is happening in Apple Arcade. So I just wanted to check in with you fellas if any of you play any games from Apple Arcade or use Apple Arcade. And uh, I'm curious about your your thoughts on sort of the future of Apple Arcade. If this is going to continue to be something that Apple really digs into or not yeah in, I, in fact, I, I, I i i only use apple arcade sporadically but i i use it i use it as a it's it's i use it for snacking so to speak mm-hmm. well because mm-hmm. I've, I've, i think what it's really really good at is finding those little games that aren't going to take up your brain for three weeks it's going to be a good thing to, it's going to be a good time for a few hours and then maybe you'll dip into it again the next day and more than anything else you know that's not going to be filled with pop-up ads. It's not going to be where you you bring your you 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 steer your cart around the course once, and then at the end of the first lap it says congratulations. Now, hey, why don't you improve your cart with a new engine and new new racing stripes? And how about a new hat? Uh, so that's pretty much what I'm using it for. I'm so glad that they are starting to let people know that hey, these games are uh, certain games are about to expire and about to leave the store because it does let you know that. It, it, it does give a sense of urgency to uh, make sure that you know that the the, uh, the uh, Apple Arcade library is a living, breathing creature. It's going to be changing with things coming and going uh, as you go. Uh, and I don't. I have to admit. I have to admit that I, I'm looking at the list right now. I don't recognize any of these games. Uh, but it, if it gives attention to the, the this list of like ten or twenty games and makes people uh, discover them simply by the fact that look, if <laughs> you don't know what you got until it's gone. Uh, you may as well give. The, you may as well give uh, Dread Nautical or Don't Bug Me a try. Uh, I think that's a, it's a really good thing, an important part of the consumer experience. I have to admit, the only two, we, we play a little Apple car, Apple um, Arcade, and then we also have, I have an Atari, you know, one of those Ataris that has all the games built into it. And there was some point the other night I was playing some Space Invaders and I was like, Apple should just buy Atari. It's like $400 million. <laughs> just buy the whole thing and just stick all the app, all those games on there. That Then I'd play a lot more on, on Apple, Apple Arcade. And then you could update them all, you know, like have a, you know, have like a click the, the, you know, the 2025 version versus the, the original version and and probably do really well. Um, You know, I think that, uh, you know, I don't know if people have a strong expectation of Apple, you know, the Apple Arcade stuff. And I don't know, it seems like that's going to be a really, there's a lot of momentum (laughs) <laughs> to, to, to play AAA games on a PC and on desktop boxes and so on and so forth. I think Apple is doing pretty well with kind of more of the casual gaming. I think that one of the things that they're really yeah. missing is, is it, I mean, they're doing, I mean, they're really crushing it with casual gaming. And I think that they, they can continue to do that. I think that, I think that they, uh, I think that they do need, if they really want this to turn out, they need a breakout game. They need a game that everyone's playing, you know, and I think that that could be done, but it would take a lot of decisiveness that I don't know if they, you know, have to do that. Um, but, but building some great game that people have to be part of and, you know, what is Apple's Fortnite, so to speak. Um, and I think that there, there are opportunities there, but it's a, you'd have to kind of start throwing some pretty hard numbers at something to make it that, to, to make that work. I think Apple's done pretty well with Apple Arcade so far. I, most impressively perhaps is that they 
seem to have recalibrated, right? There, there's that sign of like, <laughs> does Apple just push something out onto the ice flow and then walk away and hope that it doesn't sink? <laughs> and that that um, the initial launch uh, was interesting, and they tried to build up a catalog. And then at some point they realized, oh, what we really need to do is we need to have some exclusive games, and then we also are going to put some money toward taking things that are in the App Store and pulling them in in a free for Apple Arcade members version that doesn't charge. And then we're also going to go to some of the classic games that people remember playing on their iPhones that have kind of fallen out of uh, off the App Store. Their tech is a little bit old and the developer doesn't have a reason to update them. And we're going to basically pay them to pull those into Apple Arcade and get them up and running on the latest uh, versions of iOS. And that is a much better approach. I think they've been successful with it. They brought back a lot of people's favorite games from the past and you can play them now again on your iPhone. I think it's such a great idea. Yeah. Um, and and there are, you know, as for my personal use, I go on and off with Apple Arcade. There are games that come on and I play them. And then like the Alto's Adventure and Alto's Odyssey series, uh, they did revisited versions of those games it, it, with extra levels and it got me back into that. Um, I play Flip Flop Solitaire from Zach Gage. There are a bunch of games that I do play that are a Apple Arcade games in some form, often classic games that have been brought in. I think the truth of these games is probably that they don't get a lot of use and Apple is cutting um, games that are not played uh, a lot from its catalog. That's my guess. I, my understanding is that, that there's some compensation you get from Apple for having your game on Apple Arcade, and then you're compensated more based on, I think it's time of use. The amount of time that Apple Arcade subscribers spend in a game actually factors in to what they get paid. But, you know, and maybe different contracts are different. But my guess is that they're cutting from here, and I hate... I hate that experience on any subscription service where you're, there's a game or a show or movie or whatever that you expect to see and it just vanishes. I think it's mm -hmm. really frustrating and I, I just am opposed to it generally. But that's probably what's going on here. And when I saw the list, I thought, well, yeah, like I would be more upset if it was a list of like things that they had promoted that were like big deals that were reasons for you to get Apple Arcade. And that's not what it is. It's more like they're... Again, I kind of admire them really seeming to be pretty active on sort of defining what the rules are for Apple Arcade and changing what the selection is and trying to find a sweet spot there, and I hope they keep doing it. Yeah, it's a very safe spot to let your kids loose on, where you know that it's an all-you-can-eat all buffet. You're not going to be you're not going to be racking up, letting them rack up thousand dollars worth of uh, in-app in purchases and in-game purchases, uh, and you know that they are up to a certain level, and that they at some point some human being at Apple has said that okay, we don't we we, we believe that this game is not going to result in a press release in a, in a news story that we're going to have to react to at some point in the future. So it's it's po it's very possible that the role of Apple arcade is not simply to give apple a bigger slice of the gaming pie but simply to keep people inside the apple ecosystem in a way in which apple can deliver something that that customer wants it's an important part of the your nutritious apple bundle as well right yes. like i mean as a five dollar a month thing if you use it a lot yeah. great if you don't there's that question of like should i be paying for this but you know, I converted to the Apple One bundle because I was buying yeah, iCloud and all these too. other things, and you you roll it together, and there's something freeing almost about saying like, I don't need to be constantly interrogating Apple uh, or, or Apple Arcade or Apple News or anything else, and be like, am I using you? Because it's like, well, yes, it's yes. almost <laughs> it's almost free at this point, right? It's almost like, well, I'm getting it for all these yeah. other reasons. It's free, and now I can look on there and play the games too. And that's you know, not everything in the bundle has to be like the 100%, we got to use it, it's a must-have. Sometimes it is that just kind of accretion that happens where you throw a bunch of stuff into the bundle and you realize, I'm glad it's there even if I don't use it every day. Yeah. I, I got to say though that it it, it I, I'm also I also converted to a bundle and it and it does bother me a little bit that if I were to if if I could pay the exact same amount of money uh, and have these things individually I'm not sure how uh, I'm not sure how how strongly each one of them would 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 pass that smell test of do right. I like Apple sure. News enough to actually subscribe to it not really Definitely not. do I like <laughs> iCloud enough not really do I like do I like do I like Apple Arcade enough? Eh, not really. But if I can get a bundle so I can back up my, I can, I can back up my iPad and my iPhone without having to af actually interact with this at all. If I can occasionally use Apple News to read things that are behind paywalls on uh, yep. on other news reader apps, 
Wall Street Journal. If, yeah. <laughs> yeah. On, on and on and on. I just I just wish that they were because uh, alternatively, like I love Google Photos and I, I pay to use I pay for unlimited on Google Photos because it really works great for me. And I love uh, Dropbox and I love uh, and I love other uh, I love other uh, cloud storage systems and I love uh, certain uh, certain other newsreader apps. And there's there, there are things that I pay for because I love them and I want this to keep going and I want to keep getting them. I just wish I felt that way about all these Apple services. But I think there's, I, I think there's a lot of times there's an inertia to it as well, though, because it's kind of like eh, Apple News wasn't that good, but now I find myself in it most of the time. You know, like I'm, you know, like it was one of those things. Like I was like, ah, it's okay. It drives me crazy that it constantly, if I block something, it constantly tells me this was blocked, you know, like, and I'm just like, okay, well, when I blocked it, I didn't want to look at it anymore. That's my biggest complaint about it is, um, and, uh, but I, but I think that it, it is this inertia and a lot of memberships, that's kind of the deal is you try to build it up to a point where the, the, the sum is bigger than whatever you were going to make a decision about. Um, I do think as long as we don't lose uh, cricket through the ages, you know, I, I, that's the, <laughs> if, if they start taking that off, then I'm going to be like, I don't know. I don't know if I can keep on doing this arcade. <laughs> that's the, like, yeah, the idea that you're not making three separate $5 decisions about like, or five or $10 mm -hmm. about Apple news and Apple TV plus and Apple arcade, but instead it's just part of the bundle. It is sort of freeing in the, in the way of like, well, did I watch for all mankind? Yes, I did. So that's good. And then this other month, did I play Alto's Odyssey? Yes, I did. So that's good. And did I, did was there that big feature story in the in the Wall Street Journal that somebody linked to and I don't pay for it, but it was in Apple News. By the way, that's pro tip. Right. If there's a Wall Street Journal uh, article that you want to read, you just search for the headline in Apple News if you've got a, if you've got News Plus and it's there. It's amazing. Yeah. Like it does it doesn't I don't want to be making monthly decisions about if I'm using those features, right? Like I just don't want to do right. it. And that's the brilliance of throwing a bunch of different things in the bundles is they don't they only have to be kind of like occasionally helpful as long as yeah. you're getting enough out of it for it to be worth it and that's yeah. that's what the game is that they're playing there yeah, yeah. But there's, there's a good reason why slayer and night ranger and a couple other metal bands from the 80s they always tour together they don't tour separately that's right. because that's, right. that's why I'll, we have I'll, county I'll spend, fairs I'll spend, <laughs> you know. that's why county fairs exist come on yeah. as a package exactly. okay 40 bucks but uh, it's a I don't bundle. Know if I want. yeah it's the Lollapalooza yeah. retro bundle uh, sorry that's a different decade i know but we're right. just talking about <laughs> concerts and and yeah yeah, it's the county fair. So what you're saying is Apple One is the county fair of technology bundles.